ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the stream. It is Thursday daytime. <laughs> it's, um, let's see what they, it is, 20 degrees, partly sunny. So it's a great day to be in the kitchen, which is where we are. How awesome is that? Okay, so today, all right, well, first, what do we got? First, we've got, um, <clears throat> I have not done a lot with the stream uh, because I have been predominantly setting up the backyard to get ready for Saturday's stream for the smelt, the iron ore smelt, uh, that we will be doing special event on Saturday and that is starting 10 o'clock Adelaide time if you want to know where that is for you scroll down have a look at my schedule for um, today <laughs> um, for Tuesday Thursday or Friday and have a look at that and that will tell you what 10 o'clock is where you are um, but yes that's happening Saturday so for the US for example I think 10 o'clock is about nine o'clock Friday night ish for, for Americans um, somewhere in there the what else have we got we've got or oh, whatever time it is now <laughs> um, we have a small change to the schedule coming up this Monday coming we will still be doing Warframe for the stream the week after that we will be changing to Warframe Wednesday. Everything else is staying the same. Um, so Tuesday, we've got Chillax Tuesday, then uh, Thursday cooking, and Friday is uh, Freaky Friday. So uh, we've almost finished Power Wash Simulator. I think we've got one, maybe two streams left of that. Then we'll be doing some tank mechanic simulators, some house flipper, and after that, who knows? <laughs> so, Chillax, Chillax Tuesday is, um, is, no, is that right? Yes, Chill Chillax Tuesday is still a go, so we have plenty planned for that. Um, so yeah, as I said, special stream coming up this Saturday. Once that's done, I plan on setting a date for the next Lego build uh, so that we can do another Lego build. Oh my god. I will be putting that up in Discord as for um, something something dark side. I'll be putting that up in Discord for people to vote on, see what they think. And the uh, build with the most votes is the build we will do. We'll see how long it will see uh, how long. <laughs> that's going to take um, for example you know we have the super star destroyer which can take as long as the death star to build um, or we have things like Darth Vader's TIE fighter that is you know a quarter of the, <laughs> the amount of pieces <laughs> so that will determine how long the stream goes for um, so we are doing all of that today we are doing a variation on shepherd's pie and we are going to cook some, well, isn't that interesting? I'm on the wrong, <laughs> excuse me for a sec. That's better. <laughs> I was, I might, where did my other camera, oh, there, I found it. Yeah, because I was on the wrong, wrong scene. All right, so we have, da -ding, some, Hague's, there we go, Hague's drinking chocolate. If you're unfamiliar with Hague's, <laughs> so we are going to be making some Hague's drinking chocolate ice cream. I also have some chocolate buds from them that we are going to smash up and put in the ice cream as well. <laughs> I was going to do raspberry ice cream. Um, the <laughs> Then I had a look at the price of raspberries and $7 a punnet, which I think equated out to $56 a kilo, is not something I can currently afford. So I checked and it's almost raspberry season. 
So that's why they are so expensive and why we're not doing uh, raspberry ice cream. Um, I do, once they do get in season and the price comes down, I will definitely be doing a raspberry ice cream. So um, no short delay, but uh, we will be doing that. That's, uh, that will happen. I'm just gonna move this up a teeny bit. All right, I feel better now. I feel more in screen <laughs> when I'm talking to you. All right, so that's everything that's coming up. We have um, lots of things to do. We're gonna have a whole heap of pans on the cooker. I was gonna do a lemon, more lemon cordial in the background while I was at it, but um, that. <laughs> I ran out of I ran out of spots on the stove, to be honest. Um, oops. So yeah, that's pretty much where that's at. So we shall uh, start. Ow, 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 ow. I did a whole heap of dirt shoveling yesterday, and I got a blister just on the in the crook of my thumb, and every time I move it. So today is going to be fun for that. If you see me shaking my hand, that's why. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start shepherd's pie. I'm going to throw some water in that. Where's my chopping board gone? There it is. I have a whole heap of chopping boards. I just, for some reason today, I'm going to use this one. Now, I don't, honestly, I don't think there is such a thing as a traditional shepherd's pie. I think it just boils down to how did you like to cook your shepherd's pie? Um, some call, the ones that I'm not a fan of, the recipes I'm not a fan of, are the ones that use like four times the amount of potato as they do meat. So, meat! My meat. In the meantime, we're going to catch that wild esper, or we're going to attempt to. Um, yeah, so it's, some of them um, call for a teeny bit of meat with a lot of potato. Not a fan. I, I like that balance of meat and potato. I generally, I've got, I'm going to be using about a kilo's worth of potatoes and a kilo's worth of mince but we are um, going to be doing some other fun stuff as well. So um, I'm kind of winging this recipe. So I've made some tweaks to it. So this one is mine. <laughs> this one is my recipe. So I'm kind of make some tweaks to it. We will see <laughs> what happens to the overall flavor as we go along. Hopefully, it won't suck. So, I found these in the shops today. They are Matolu Family Farms potatoes, but they are for mashing. Now, there are different types of, different varieties of potatoes. Some are harder, some are softer. Um, some take to boiling better. No problem. Hey, and I've caught the esper. Nice. Um, I haven't had a look at these guys. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're their standards are. Um, I was in a bit of a rush yesterday. So the one thing I looked for and got was this little symbol down here. Now, ah, can you see that in stream? Is it going to focus? Anyway, that little symbol says Australian, Australian grown and it's 100% Australian grown. So that's my first port of call. Um, there's a heap of like information and stuff and all that, but although it only says 100% Australian owned, gotta be careful of these marketing things. 
but I will be looking that up. And if you see them again on the stream, we'll have a chat about it. If you don't, we'll have a chat about it anyway. So, trying to get these open is fun. There we go. So, there's one and a half kilos in this bag, and the bag was five bucks. So, that's not really bad when you think about it. But, what we need to do is have around a kilo of sweet potatoes. What have we got left? Yeah, too much. So that is about a kilo of potatoes. Now, when I'm making mash, if I'm making it to go, depends how I make it. So if I'm making mash to go with, um, like, snags and three veg, you know, snags and mash or, you know, steak and mash, whatever, I get, if I get organic potatoes, which I checked, there was no organic potatoes in my store, in my local store, when I went shopping, so this is why we're not using the organics. Um, I had no time yesterday. <laughs> okay. Now I can't find anything. Oh, there we go. Feel it. Um, so yeah, there was no organics potatoes in my shop, so that's why I went for these. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my god. See, this is what happens when you do everything unscripted. It all just goes to hell. So, oh yes, that's right. That's what I was going to So if I'm doing regular stuff and I've got organic potatoes, I will simply... Um, I'll leave the skins on. I'll cut them up, leave the skins on, and I'll mash them up with the skins. Because there is a lot of nutrients in the skin of potatoes. These things, I'm not entirely sure of. Because as I said, I haven't done a lot of research into um, into this company. For all I know, these things are full of pesticides. But um, we will see. We will see. So, don't know. Don't know what I'm using. <laughs> and that aside, kind of uh, flat broke <laughs> at the moment. So, um, I had to go for budget options. So, as always with this channel, I have bought the best ingredients I can afford. And now we're not going to mess it up. <laughs> well, we're hopefully not going to mess it up. What I have messed up, though, is I've, uh, I'm feeling a bit bit uh, more boppy today. So what we're going to do is we are doing the Twitch Safe Royalty Free No Copyright Music by Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. So go check out White Bat Audio on YouTube. Throw them a, uh, hit that subscribe button. Have a listen. And this is what we're playing with today. I'm feeling a bit, a uh, bit more, feeling the need for a bit more grunge. <laughs> so we're listening to the dark synth cyberpunk industrial today. One of these days, I may even get bored with this and go looking for other royalty free music. <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun day in the kitchen. With with my finger going off like that. Well my thumb. But this is what you get for shoveling around one and a half tons of wet clay. Uh 
that point you tend to get blisters. I always find it funny, you look up recipes and they're like, go, ah oh, yes, boiling the potatoes will take 15 minutes. It's like, honey, it'll take me 15 minutes to peel them. <laughs> Don't know what they're on about, but. I'm not a slow potato peeler. I don't think I'm a slow potato. Do you know if I'm a slow potato peeler? I don't think I am. I used to be able to do it at this speed with a knife. Not anymore. Way out of practice. I haven't got my tea towel either. I forgot my tea towel. Just thought I'm going to need to wipe my hands, but no tea towel. I'm going to have to fix that. As always, we have our compost bucket. <laughs> our Golden North Ice Cream compost bucket. go there. I am going to get my tea towel. I'll be back. So put a bit of water in there, just out of the uh, filtered tap. Now I need a knife. So boiling potatoes, some people um, cut them into cubes, into this shape, into that shape, into whatever. I, I honestly don't think it matters that much um, what sort of shape you cut them into I some would it might all I know all I really know is that the bigger the pieces the longer it takes so I tend to cut them into just slivers and throw them in the pot So you can see, just cut them into slivers, throw them in, be done with it. Doesn't go there yet, all of them. <laughs> you can finish, finish cutting these up. So obviously you get to a point where you, you trying to cut that that way is going to be painful. So I'll just lay it flat and chop it into a couple of bits. Alright. Chop it into a couple of bits. Throw it in the bowl.
<laughs> Supposedly the trick to looking cool in the kitchen is being able to uh, chop, <laughs> chop up stuff while you're not watching. My fingers feel it. They do. <laughs> oh, see, my fingers felt that one. The spud moved just a little bit. Might need a little bit more water. Might not. We'll see. I'll get this underway. Look really funny if there's a delay between the music. It's going to be white man dancing offbeat. <laughs> so another way to do this, if you're less confident just slamming into a spud, is chop it in half, lay it on the board that way, and then slice. Hey, Captain, how you doing? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. <laughs> how you doing, Cap? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the biddies. Doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance. How you doing, Cap? What are you up to? How you been going? Yeah, good enough. Put the uh, pinch of salt. Don't actually know why. But it's a thing. So, <laughs> here we go, the great debate. Oh, uh, Cap needs a rest day. Ah, took the day off. Nice, nice. <laughs> Host Dan with the most Dan. Thanks, Cap. Um, so here we go. The great debate. Flamage on pans. So are you the sort of person that puts flame out and around the edge of the pan? Or like me, are you the person that brings the flame down so it's got that perfect ring. Hotter and hotter. Right, Cap? Because <clears throat> there seems to be two schools of thought on that. There seems to be the sort of, I'll um, just crank the heat and it, it's fine. Leaking out the sides, who cares? Then there's the train of thought where it's like, concentrate the heat on the base and ring. Ring it, baby. <laughs> Ah, cap rings it. Nice. Oh my god, no. Go away. Heat spreads out. Yeah, exactly, cap. That's why I do it too. So. Ah. Ring that fire. <laughs> Alright. So, we've done that. The rest of those spuds can go away. They're on. So now we are going to start the ice cream. 
Oops. This time I'm not going to lick the lid. Um, <coughs> my normal cream, not there. So we're going to be using the light version of the cream I usually buy. Um, potato ice cream. Uh, no, no. We are doing uh, Hague's chocolate ice cream. So... Yes, yes, chocolate, chocolate ice cream. And a type of chocolate ice cream that is very high quality chocolate, um, but also is, um, we can make it as strong as we want. <laughs> Last time we're putting in 300 mils of cream, uh, thickened cream, and 300 mil, 300 mils of what's that stuff called? Milk. <laughs> now, this is what I was going to show you that I forgot to do last time because I licked the lid. Was if you put a little bit of milk in first, and then you you swirl it around, then fill it up with the rest, you get your 300 mil measurement. And you clean out the container at the same time. Perfect. Yes, it is very naughty, Cap. Very naughty. So, we now get our next vanilla bean. <laughs> you want to go out to the Hague's factory? Well, there is a Hague's factory. And they sell seconds and all, all, well, they sell all the chocolate. But then, like, you go there after Easter and all of the, you know, if there's a, a blemish on an egg or, you know, something like that or it falls over and it cracks and whatever, they smash it all up into bits, put it in bags and sell it as seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's about a third of the price. Why now? <laughs> Where those plants are hanging? Oh, you mean out there. Yeah, that, that's the wood pile. <laughs> out there. Believe it or not. Uh, yes, of course. Out there. Oh, sweet, I have my red suspenders. I can fire tend. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say it. This is where we need smell vision Because the smell of the, the, the straight up vanilla bean is freaking amazing. Now there's going to be proof if I'm using the same method. 
Oh, I've forgotten how much sugar we use. Oh no! So, we need four egg yolks. Did it fit in one of these last time? Somebody tell me. I can't remember. Smell of vision. Whoop, there it goes. One egg. I'm going to say yes, <laughs> right? Goober egg. Nope. Don't de goober. Oh, that almost de goobered. today. Wasn't actually, uh -huh. shakes I tell you, shakes. Alright, that's the end of the eggs. Cap. Cast of sugar. So it looks like you used about 170 grams of sugar. what I needed the other bowl for. <laughs> Got way overexcited there. Nah, that can't be right. What sugar did I use? I've got a different recipe, so let's try a third of a cup. Let's see. Where are my cup measures? Uh. Yeah, maybe it was. That's about a third of a cup. Let's find out. Oops. Spillage. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> She'll be right. Yeah, it is a beautiful mug, isn't it? Crafted by a guy in the SCA. It's all, they're all individual, they're all individually glazed, they're all just tiny bits of sizes off, and it's all very bespoke.
But we're going to be using this a fair bit today. Vanilla extract. We throw a teaspoon of that in with this. Lick the bowl, it's more fun. <laughs> to come to the simmer and while we try and catch a wild clobber puss see all those vanilla seeds starting to separate out looks like there's more this time <clears throat> I don't know why there looks like there's more this time same pot out of the same jar. I love these jars. <laughs> I just love these jars. I don't know why, but they make me feel good. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm keeping them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I just... I just want to keep them. <laughs> rigged! Rigged! Hello, Ziggy. How you doing, old girl? Moving a bit slow today. Yeah, poor thing. I mean, she's fine. She's eating healthy. She gets up. She's you know does all the cat things. She has the occasional kitten attack. She's just she's getting old. Like me, she just has slow days. Which oh god, why? Oh, <laughs> Right, so, now that we've got that on the go, um, we should probably start, while we're waiting for that, we should start chopping up some carrots to go in the shepherd's pot. are Earth's Garden Organic Carrots, so I'm not going to bother peeling them. I've 
got to keep an eye on this too. Good luck. Getting a little excited. something satisfying about the sound of this tonk on the board. My phone has been going nuts with messages today. Of no, because it's just advertising. Oh, am I seeing bubbles there? Okay, so come on, hanging here. Don't ask me why, it is. <laughs> Potatoes, potatoes and boiling milk. Concern me there for a minute. I went, hang on, how much milk have we got left? Because <laughs> I still need milk for the potato. We'll be fine. It's not the best place for you to take up camp. She's literally right here. I don't know. She just works here. There you go, that's a bit better. What? Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hey? You want to come and say hello to everyone? Hello everyone, this is Ziggy, she is the Zig Zig, she likes being held like a handbag usually, no? Okay, down you go. <laughs> So you got two cat and gross. <laughs> So I know there's a third bit of case in there. We've just got to find that. Oh, look, and they're starting to boil. That's nice. We should probably turn that on so that we go and don't get too foggy. Oh, what? No. Why am I dropping frames? Don't do this again. Getting really tired of the internet not working. All right. Now 
we're going to pour a little bit of this into there oh, and hopefully somewhere along the line we will find <laughs> the extra bit of uh, of um, vanilla bean that is still in here but we don't want it too hot because it'll insta cook the eggs which is why I'm letting it cool down a little bit best way to cool something down just stir it look at all the steam coming off it Come on, where are you? Where are you, little goober? Whoop! Whoop! Keep thinking I found it, but didn't want to play. Pity they don't float. Just saying. And I could pour it through a strainer. Could. <laughs> Probably not gonna. Just means someone might get a surprise vanilla bit. <laughs> Alright, keep it moving. Doesn't come out, I don't think. We'll soon find out. Nope, there it is. Found it. The whole heap of vanilla beans. because I did it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit back into the pan, swoosh it around, and see if we can't pick up a few more of those beans. Nice, much better. Trying to get as much of the vanilla beans back in the pot as I can. Right. And now we light that back up and slowly let that cook. Until it becomes the custard. going to do this slightly differently than we did last time. Last time we waited until this was cooled um, to then put it into uh, the ice cream and then we added the strawberries. At this point because we're using drinking chocolate what we're going to do is we're going to put it in now while it's warm and get it up to a kind of color that we like 
maybe a, a couple of toastings. But then we're going to chunk up the, I've got the carrots in the freezer. So these are the little carrots that are going to be going in. Good. Oh, no, oh, in, in the ice cream. Yeah, they're nicely frozen. So we'll get to chunk them up in a minute. And those we'll be adding once it goes, once it cools and goes into the ice cream, that's when we'll add those carobs. The reason I've frozen them is so that when you, we smack them, they shatter. Once they're shattered, they're going in nice bits and bobs and stuff and things. I don't know if I'll use the whole lot. I may like keep a couple for us to eat, just noms. Alright, let's see how those fork, fork you. No. Alright, they're still not ready, which is fine. So now we can go back to dicing the carrots. So in this one, I'm putting um, carrots, carrots, peas, corn. Um, and a whole lot of other stuff because norms <laughs> now if we get the if the potatoes are done a bit too early um, or a bit early then everything else it doesn't matter because we just mash them and um, we just mash them and leave them aside because all of this is going into the oven to cook anyway. So all I've done is chop the carrots in half and then in quarters and then chop them down into little bite-sized morsels. That's it. Two carrots, chopped up, done. Ooh, and a wild granbull appears. Am I in time? It appears I am. Keep it all on the stir. Right, so they're done, so I should rinse them because we're gonna, ah, we're gonna need them. We're gonna need these for the potato. So I'm just keeping this moving so it doesn't stick to the bottom. This is a decent pot. It's okay. But um, a little bit of attention doesn't hurt. Because we don't want this to go chunky. Right, so now we're going to start putting in some chocolate. Right. It was 
a slight piece of uh, scourer stuck in it. We don't want that in food. Now, turn this right down for a sec. So um, the drinking chocolate can be a little bit um, chunky. So I'm just going to put it through a sieve to get it in there. And I'm going to go for some uh, large tablespoon measures. Well, so that's one tablespoon. The rest of that is going to be two tablespoons. So we start with two tablespoons. Don't worry, I have more. <laughs> so if you're playing the home game and you saw that that was running out, that's that's fine. Stir this in. Ah! <laughs> and spill it everywhere. Probably should have done that a little better, but oh well. Oh, and it's starting to get a bit chunky. Damn it. So if it starts going a bit chunky, usually means you've let it get too hot and it started boiling the egg. We should be okay. We'll see. It's been a long time since I messed that up. But this is sometimes what happens when you're doing too many things at once. Quick fix. And now we throw that away. I'm just putting it into the sink in some cold water, cool it a bit quicker, then we'll throw it in the fridge once that's once the pan's cooled a bit. We'll throw it in the fridge because we don't want to overwork the fridge. And then we'll put it in the ice cream maker. And we'll make some ice cream.
<laughs> right, so we've now checked on the. Oh, yeah. So they're getting there. Yep. Having trouble. Oh, almost there. Having trouble picking them up with a fork? Means it's almost there. Let's not flood the pan with water. This is being a fun day in the kitchen, this is. Ooh. Don't touch it, it'll be fine. <laughs> Now, swate. We're going to swate some vegetables. Um, some recipes here call for butter, some call for uh, olive oil. Up to you. I'm going to use some butter because today I feel like sauteing in butter. Nothing like chocolate flavoured mashed potatoes. <laughs> Um, now, cooking, cooking of things. All right, so stuff like carrots um, and carrots, peas, corn, they have different cooking types. I'm going to put an extra small onion in this too while we're at it. Um, they have different cooking types. So, When you saute, whew, I did, well, I put that, that knife on the steel, but obviously, wow, what the hell is going on with these onions? None of my knives are sharp enough. Um... Sorry, that just really threw me. Um, right, so different times. Usually, stuff like peas and um, peas and corn, very short cooking time. flying everywhere. Carrots on the other hand, as a root vegetable, take a bit more time. So, um, yeah. Onions, kind of the middle of the road. So I'm just going to get the carrots started. I'm putting a small onion in here. Probably half to a third of a cup's worth of uh, diced onion. But we are going to be using the French onion soup we made last week. So, that's been sitting solid in the fridge. Um... Some heat into it just to soften it up just a little bit. 
doesn't have to be a huge doesn't have to be overly huge um, amount because don't forget it's going in the oven which reminds me we're going to check we don't need that in the way and we are going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius Where's the fork gone? There it is. Oh yeah, that's ready. So you can see I can't, I can, pick, I can pick it up flat, but I can't stick a fork in it. So that's done. We like that. Getting some heat into that, that's fine. Now, we are using the French onion soup that we used, uh, made last week, but I'm putting in just a little bit more onion um, because uh, it's it'll add a bit more bite to it um, and it will, it adds a bit of crunch, well not crunch, but it adds a slightly different texture in there. Now, that said, now that I've said that corn and peas take a little less time to cook, um, you can increase that time if you just take them straight out of the freezer. out in your garden, use fresh peas out of your garden. Hmm. People losing things today. Today is, is being an interesting day to be in the kitchen cooking. So I've got about half a cup of corn to go in. You can see all that frostbite that I'm putting in with it. Bye. <laughs> Nearly went in the ice cream. That's some nice chocolate ice, uh, chocolate custard. So, <laughs> yeah. You can see already that even though they were frozen, that's that pea's already halfway done. I only just put it in there. So I've got that on a low heat at the moment, um, mainly because I just want to get the defrost 
done and then I'm going to crank it up and I'm going to make I'm going to um, get to the saute proper now I, people keep telling me I'm a weirdo for this what do, what do you reckon frozen peas can see this but all the butter I put in has been absorbed into the veg it's gone How you doing upright? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the screen. I have something attached to my head, do I? What is it? I won't move. Come around and swat it. I'm not doing that. It's hard to see. <laughs> going to throw kilos worth of mince in. Whoop. Not forgetting to take that backing paper off. Because we don't particularly want that in our food. chocolate ice cream. Well, the start of it. Alright, now I can throw things in the blooming thing again. Hey, you're in just chatting, you know, there's a cooking category, right? No. I've looked for the cooking category. Can't find it. I've put in cooking, I've put in real life cooking, I've put in real life, I've just, and all it brings up is cooking games. food and drink. Ah. Okay. Well, give me a minute. I'm just going to turn that down. can't see anything on my bench. It's too crowded. Where is my mouse? My mouse is hiding. All right. 
All right, let's find out. Food and drink, eh? Ah, stop it. <clears throat> I may occasionally drift over there and randomly peep streams. Ooh. I was giving a very flustered British girl advice on making cookies the other day. She was struggling. Aha. Well, you know. Waiting for the category to take to catch up. Alright, so that's not catching up. So come on, catch up. No? No, let's try F. So now we've browned off the meat, time for the next step, putting some fluid in. So what we are going to do So we're gonna give it a bit of salt and pepper. Stir that in. Blow it. two cups of the leftovers but we're going to start with two cups because this is a new recipe start with two cups now we're going to start with two cups of the French onion soup mix that we made the other day. Fluid. Um. Come on, catch up. Hey, Rach, how you doing? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Now it's all gone to hell. I'm awake, I think, right? Come on, give me. Okay, this was a bad idea because for some reason. That's just not catching up. All right, so we're stirring in a little bit of that soup. putting a third cup in. I'm well, thanks, Rach. How you doing? Uh, Rach, I hate daylight savings, though. Used to start at 10.30, now you start at 9.30. No, you don't. See, this is the thing, right? You start at 10.30. You still just start at 10.30. This is where I reckon so many people get messed up by daylight savings, is they just 
um, they go, oh, well, it's actually 9.30. It's like, it's not, it's 10.30. It's now 10.30, it's 10.30, just go do 10.30. <laughs> All right, bit more Flamio Hotman. Alright, I reckon I'm... Do I squish that down? Is that gonna... Yeah, I reckon another cup. Maybe, maybe half. Half a cup. Let's put it in half a cup. Experimenting with the recipe. This is how it works. Ulrich's strategy is will for ignorance to force a perspective change. No, it's I don't change perspective. That's the that's the trick. The clock says it is currently eleven thirty. It's eleven thirty. Okay. <laughs> Except it's literally not because I don't have daylight savings. You really did use to start at ten thirty. Oh right, right. You're right. Okay. Sorry. I was misunderstood what you what you were saying Rach yes I have changed I have changed my schedule and that is annoying yes all right so now that we've got that in we've got some nice fluid in there we want to thicken that up so we are going to Get some plain flour. We're going to start with half a tablespoon of plain flour. And now I can't get my, my thing to work because it just won't work. Now I don't have any category. <laughs> Stupid no category. Someone make it go food and drink. Can my mods do that? Can moderators change the category? Because it won't change for me. Rach, I only finish work at 7 a.m. but sometimes I don't get away till eight or later. Whoa. Yeah, right, right? All right, so now we're gonna put a little bit of flour in. And this, once we mix that in and cook it up a bit, is hopefully going to turn the liquid into gravy. Probably a math for this. Nah, it didn't work upright. Don't know why it's not working, but it's not working now. Try slash game? A slash game. No, nah, no slash game command. Oh, I forgot. Um. Wussy sauce. That's just wrong, I tell you. It says a teaspoon, but you know, I've put a lot more meat in this than it originally called for. So I'm going to start with half a tablespoon. Oh, there's 
that smell of vision we need again. Mmm, wussy sauce. Right, so you can see, hopefully, that that fluid is starting to thicken because it's leaving the bottom of the pan clear. Starting to thicken. We want it a little thicker than that. Fine, don't want to go in the pan, you go in my mouth. No, no, no. <laughs> gonna say as a it's a exclamation command you have to be a creator and also a mod though. Ah, okay. So I've gotta do it. I've gotta do the point game food and drink. Alright. to update the game. Right, so I can do it, but it's just failing to update for some reason. Thicken my pretty, thicken! So now, get my tasty thing. special. I think though, I'm going to put an extra little splash of woozy. Just to give it a little bit more kick. going to make mash. <laughs> Alright, first we're going to have another go at this whole search for a category thing. No. It's just not going to let me do it. Game food. Nope, failed to update the game. Good. It's even in the um, stream manager. It's not. It's not finding it. 
right, let's try capital F then. No, it's not finding anything. It's not even finding just chatting at the moment. So, oops. I'll have to remember that though, food and drink. And look at that, the oven just ticked over into um, heated, preheated. Changers. Getting cold potato out of a sieve. <laughs> uh, yeah, upright. This is the old PC. Uh, Rachel, I don't know what commands Rocker Spot recognizes. I've dealt with Nightbot, Streamlabs, Moodbot. Uh, Rocker Spot is running on Streamlabs chatbot. So that's what he's running on. He, it, they, yeah. So yeah, Rogerspot is running Streamlabs chatbot. For the win. All right, now, again, we're gonna put butter into the mash. We're gonna put some milk into the mash. How much you put in is entirely up to you. Whatever your taste is, do that. Ah, oh, I found my other measure <laughs> that I was missing. So I'm gonna put in some butter, splash of milk, and off we go. Now you can probably hear from that that it's having a bit of trouble. So I'm going to put another splash of milk in just to uh, smooth it off a little bit. Um, what this bot obviously recognizes game because it's trying, just not picking up the food and drink category for a second. Yeah, look, the, um, none of the categories, even if I go into the stream manager and try to change the category manually in there, um, it's not coming up with anything. I don't know why, but it's just not.
still a little bit chunky, but maybe not. We'll see. All right, where's the fork? Nah, no, that'll be fine. Just the right amount of butter. I can just get that, that little tingle of butter on the edge of it. So I'm happy with that. Starting a preschool pre cool on the ice cream. Now I don't know why it's not changing. Sometimes you do it and it just sometimes it works like really fast, sometimes it doesn't work at all. Now it's not working at all. So We now take our casserole dish. Oh, the smell on this. Again, the Worcestershire sauce, how much of woozy you put in is entirely up to your taste. If you really like the Worcestershire tang, put a bit more in. If you don't, don't put any in. Pressing this down a bit to get the fluid a bit more evenly through it. So, move that. Check <laughs> that all the burners are off so that I don't um, burn off the cable on my egg beater. <sighs> See what I mean? So, alright, so hopefully you can see this, but I'm pushing this just to get all that gravy um, mixed through into what we've got. And you can see it's turned into kind of quite thick gravy, which is nice. Jiggling it around a bit, trying to get the gravy through it all and nice and even. So that was, you know, I could just scoop it out with this, doesn't matter, it's like, no. We're going to clean this first so that we get a white layer of mash on top. Now we 
gently push the mesh around. We just want it to go over the top of the meat. Well, it could have done a bit more actually than a kilo. We could have done the full kilo and a half of mash. Oh well, live and learn. I'm going to put that on the recipe for next time. One and a half kilos of mash. Yep, one and a half kilos of mash next time. Like I said, new experimental recipe. So, but isn't that interesting? Kilo of meat to a kilo of mash, and it's about two thirds meat and one third mash. Freaking weird, right? Don't know how that's meant to work, but obviously it's working that way. Bloop. Gotta eat this. <laughs> So I've got that on the middle shelf, fan forced oven, 200 degrees. So I've got that in the oven, fan forced at 200 degrees Celsius. And now we set an alarm for half an hour. Block timer. Three minutes, no, 30 minutes I say, start. All right, I've lost a pen. Pen. All right, so we amend that to 1.5 kilos of potato. Um, yeah, 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 kilo of minced beef was good too. We did two and a half cups soup, and uh, we did a half tablespoon of flour. And we did a half tablespoon Oh, was he? Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go one tablespoon. One tablespoon of was he? One. There we go. And so next time I'll do that recipe, and we'll see if it comes out the same. Um, Twitch has done some seriously weird things lately, though, so I don't know anymore. Yeah, I know, right? Um. Also, sorry, mum called me away, so if anyone was talking to me, I was not here. Ah, it's all good, Rach. It's all good. So, what are we looking for? We are looking, what are we looking for? Um, I think we've run out of music. We have run out of music. All right, next music. Lay. Yep, still trying to search for the category and it still won't do it. That's my category. That's alright. We will figure that out next time. Food and drink, food and drink, food and drink. All right.
pre-cool cycle has finished. That is the beginnings of our Haig's chocolate ice cream. One, two, three. Stuff ice cream, I'm just gonna eat it like that. Getting this all out of the pan. I love chocolate ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wash that because look in the bowl, but that needs to be a category. Lick the bowl. <laughs> and now that begins. But first, the hint wow okay the hinterlands milk chocolate ice cream is recently discovered fave their burnt butter ice cream is also burnt butter okay it's Hague's <laughs> Now, crushy, crushy, how am I going to do this? Licking the bowl is the best category, but also probably something they have on OnlyFans, which means something much different. Possibly, yes. Although I did find out recently, OnlyFans is not just for adult content. Okay, that's not working. Chop it into fours, mate? Yeah, right. I found that out within the last few months, too. I had no idea. I was actually, um, the, the way I found it out is there's a costumer. She does um, uh, late Victorian costuming. And a friend of mine watches her channel. Can't remember the name of it. Um, and she did a... Saucy Victorian ankle photos. <laughs> Only fans. Ooh. 
which I found extremely amusing. I don't think it set out to be adult content, but ended up that way. Um, maybe. I'm, I have no idea, to be honest. So I'm playing with the size that I'm making, I'm chopping these up to. Um, some I think are going to be a bit big. But I'm basically going, you can see there, that's the full carob size. You know, finger for scale. And then chopping them down into that size bits. I think I'm going to end up using about half a bag, maybe a bit more. Really, can you put too much Hage chocolate in chocolate ice cream? I'm going with no. <laughs> However, I may be biased. See, it's already starting to warm up and get sticky. Greg! does also mean that it's getting a bit easier to chop, but, you know. So I like the base ice cream, obviously I've done that before. Um, I've done the, the general chocolate flavoring, but these bits I haven't done before. This bit, these bits are new to the recipe. So we're trying all sorts of new stuff today. Probably about half of the shepherd's pie recipe. Nah, about a third of the shepherd's pie recipe is new. Trying a couple of new things with it. We'll see how it goes down. Alright, so we've got a whole buttload of chocolate here. My hand for scale. It's like, you know, a good handful of chocolate. I think we need one more carrot, though. Don't ask me why. I just want to do one more carrot. It's interesting. Some of these are shattering. Some of them are just cutting. Some of them are, like, flaking. It's really... The behavior of the chocolate is interesting. Shaving down some of the, the slightly bigger bits. Because there is no way in hell you're going to be able to get an ice cream scoop through some of this chocolate if it's frozen. Well, we'll see how that goes.
spillage. Oops. So yummy, and I've just done door and I want to eat the little jagala. A little baba da da ba la ba la ba la ba. I have all the yummy foods, and I don't know which one to eat first. Did I just spill that in my beard? I did. <laughs> Catching it for wrong. cleaning before everything gets solidified. Um, right, so I switched from iPad to computer halfway through that and the lag is wow. Rico Swedish chef. If I get copyrighted for the Swedish Chef song. I tell you, there's very little I hate more in washing than trying to wash solidified mashed potato. It's just a whole pile of no. <laughs> Speaking of which... Yes. That and Whitbix. <laughs> yeah. Solidified Milo is another one. I'll eventually put stuff in the right place. Preload. chocolate drinking powder. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just like having that label facing out. <laughs> no one outside. 
side of the house sees it. But I like having the label facing out. So if you haven't guessed already, I know I've said this before, but I like cleaning, I like cleaning in a cooked kitchen. <laughs> I like cooking in a clean kitchen. So I tend to clean as I go. We haven't had a lot of time for, for on the go cleaning today. But definitely prefer on the go cleaning. I mean, I've rinsed some stuff and, you know. After stream, I will be, first thing I do is dishes. <laughs> That's put my post cooking stream activities, do the dishes. All right. I'm gonna stop eating then. Space is getting clean again. And now we wait. Mmm, iced coffee. find a use. <laughs> I will one day find a use for all of these that I'm collecting. Maybe I'll put like little shots of something in it, shots of scotch or something. All right, how long have we got on that? Ooh. Toilet trouble. That is bubbling away nicely, and we will see that in just a little bit of time. Hopefully. Hopefully, the uh, the flour and the fluid is making that into more and more and more gravy, which is going to be excellent. This has a French variant. It's called something weird. It's also called cottage pie. A um, few other bits and bobs and things, so, yeah. It's, um, uh, what do you call it? It's interesting that the, the, the amount of variations that this has, which is why I think, I, I don't think there is honestly a um, traditional recipe for this. You know, cottage pie, shepherd's pie, loca, loca, loca. Let's see if I can find the word for it. Hang on. We'll look that up. Um, uh, French. Uh, uh, right. It's called Hashis Parmentia. H A C H I S. P A R M E N T I E R. That appears to be the French variant of Shepherd's Pie. Hatch, hashi, hatchis, hatchis Parmentier. I apologize to anyone who can speak French for the butchering of those words. Yeah, there you go. Hashis Parmentier. Like I said, I, I apologize to any French speakers who are listening because that was just butchered. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Rach. See, Rach typed it while I was looking it up. <laughs> Oh, 
wild bidoof. Bidoof. Let's go see how the ice cream's going. It appears to be mixing. <laughs> Gavin bits off the cooktop <laughs> that I've made a gigantic mess on. However, Ashipamentia. Okay. Ashipamentia. Wasn't far off. She parmentia. Still butchering the language. You know, someone French is going, oh yeah, you're doing you're doing it um, with syllables, but um, you've got the emphasis on the wrong syllable and your accent is atrocious. <laughs> yes, yes it is. And, uh, what do you do? This is actually weird. We've got nothing to look at. The stove is empty. It's just me standing here chatting away while everything cooks. And we've got five minutes left on the uh, on the Ashi Parmentia. <clears throat> it's not that shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie a la Ulrich. It's that's what it is. Right, well, it appears to be that time of day. So, I'll be back. For it is now time, I'm watching you, it is now time to have a ginger. Yes. Or oh, dry ginger ale. I should say. Dry ginger ale. Light, refreshing, non. Or vice versa, do shepherds eat their sheep? As far as I'm aware, that's why they are shepherds, is so they can eat their sheeps and the wolves don't eat their sheeps. Do you know? I always thought cottage beef pie was shepherd's pie was lamb. Um, cottage pie was beef and shepherd's pie was lamb. Possibly. I've, I've seen, I've seen all sorts of recipes called all different things, so... That may require some research. Some more research. <laughs> Hi. So, I have no idea what to cook next because this is the end of the trilogy. So, first we cooked the beef bone broth. Um, I didn't know if Shepherd's Pie were third party contractors. Okay. Um, so we started with the beef bone broth that we made two weeks ago. Um, we turned some of that into the um, French onion soup, which was nom nom nom. Speaking of which, I did last night. I had um, noodles, but instead of cooking them in uh, hot water, I cooked them in the French onion soup. So it was basically French onion soup with noodles. And oh my God, it was so nice. <laughs> and so filling. I got like 
two thirds of the way through it. And I'm like, oh God, why, why, why? <laughs> anyway, so yes, I've been munging out quite a bit on that French onion soup because it is very nice. So then we use the French onion soup as a gravy base for the shepherd's pie that we're cooking now. So upscaling, we use two and a half cups of the um, soup. So not a lot. It's really not, it's, it's leftovers. It's an amount of leftover that, you know, it's not quite a serve. It's so you just throw that in. You throw that into your pie and off you go. Upscale, upscale, upscale. Uh, rich, as in rich dudes own the sheeps on their rich dude land and they hire shepherds to look after them. Uh, there would certainly be an amount of that, yes. But when there were rich dudes hiring shepherds, I would probably suggest that part of the shepherd's pay would be, you know, you get a sheep once a year, twice a year. You know, something like that. You know, it's, here's a really old sheep that, that can't have lambs anymore. Okay, you can eat that. <laughs> Badinka donk. Badinka dink. Badinka donk. All right, so that's the alarm. I had to go check the ice cream. <laughs> I know I'm meant to be doing this. But I had to go check the ice cream. Right, so. Mitts. Wait till I get my mitts on that. Mwahaha. Beep, beep. <laughs> Glasses went foggy. Don't know why. Lucky, lucky, I got lucky. Right, so maybe a little bit too much fluid. Hot glass is hot. Yes, thank you, Rach. I look, I learnt this time. I, I did learn this time. Rach, I was raised Christian, so familiar with their shepherds watching flocks. <laughs> but the concept of shepherds eating their flock is um a bit the other side of the road. <laughs> Stinking hot. <laughs> I thought, I actually thought I'd left that long enough to, to cool. Oh, I had not. Ooh. Me like it. Hmm. I'm wondering if an extra bit of Worcestershire sauce might be the go there. Stop dropping frames. Silly internet. So, 
you've got the tater, the tater, the potato's still got that, that light bit of butter in it. The French onion soup is kind of, it's there, but you kind of have to go looking for it, but it's there. I think, thicken the gravy some more for that one. Get a really, get it really more gravy. I think that will stop the, the slight browning that we got around, that slight browning that you can see around the edge. That's the fluid coming through and staining the potato. It's only stained it though. It hasn't really changed the flavor of the potato. You can still taste the potato, which is nice. Um, but I might leave that on a simmer or add a little bit more flour to thicken the gravy a bit more. And for all the salt and pepper that I've put in this, and you saw it, it's just crank, 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 crank. Um, it's not really salty or peppery. There's, there's not a lot of salt or pepper in there. Um, so I reckon either, I'll have to do this two different ways. I'll have to do two more versions of this, um, where I, one, I put a bit more Worcestershire sauce in, and then one where I put a bit more, maybe, yeah, maybe stay with the two and a half cups of um, French onion soup, but um, really put in much, like really let that gravy thicken up more before I put it into the oven. So, notes. This is how we improve recipes. Well, this is how I improve recipes. I don't know how you guys do it. Um, do it any way you want, I don't care. <laughs> but as always, buy the best ingredients you can afford and have fun with it, you know? Don't <laughs> don't mess it up. If you're gonna if you're gonna do something big with somewhat expensive ingredients like meat. Um, maybe doing it on a small scale first might be an idea. Don't know. But as the weather gets hotter, we're gonna have to change it up. We can't do these big, thick, hearty meals anymore. You're gonna want something light for summer. So I don't know what that looks like. I'm gonna have to go through some cookie books. Um, I have a River Cottage cookbook that uh, I am looking forward to getting into. If you haven't seen any of the River Cottages with Hugh Fernley Witchingstall, um, go see them. I, I highly recommend you find where you can, I don't know if BBC has an on-demand, but it's a, it's a show out of England and basically this guy goes off-grid with his food as much as he can and shenanigans so yeah he's i i like his cooking style i like his lifestyle he's a fun chef so i have at least one of his cookbooks i think i may have two um but currently it's not where i usually keep it which is a problem <laughs> so we will see about that all right um, I don't know how much time we've got left on the ice cream. Well, it looks like we've got about 20 minutes left on the ice cream. Maybe less. Because here's the thing, the, my ice cream maker runs for an hour. Um, and if you do, you don't quite do the pre-cool enough, then, um, wow, everything's gone blurry. Why is everything blurry? Oh, if you, if you don't do the pre-cool enough, um, then 
it can take that full out. If you do do the pre-cool enough, then um, it can happen quite quickly. But this time we're going to have to put it in that freezer. Because when I put it in the other freezer, it doesn't stay ice cream. It, it goes rock freaking hard. So, probably going to have to make room, but... Which reminds me. So, we made the beef broth the other week. And we put it into the placky bags. So now we have cards of bone broth that will stack in the fridge upright and no problem. So you freeze them flat, you store them upright and you can literally go through them like card holders. Upright, if you need ideas on what to cook, you're welcome to come poke my cookbooks and I can photocopy for you here. Ooh, nice. That could be fun, Upright. Absolutely. That could definitely be fun. Making all the ice creams. That's what we're doing. I'm going to need a deep fryer. Hey, I caught Rookadee. Popes. <laughs> Rage Pokes. Uprights Cookbooks. Poke. Yeah, I've really got to find that uh, River Cottage Cookbook. I like that. But one of the reasons I like that is because it has um, some really light summary recipes, which is what I like. Um, I have in my re my personal repertoire, a lot of it is this sort of stuff. It's the hearty winter, um, let's get into it food. I don't have a lot of um, light and airy. I have a really nice, I think it's a four bean, four, it's four or six bean um, salad. And oh my God, completely vegetarian um, and all of that. What the heck is a summer? <laughs> you live in Queensland. You're permanent summer rage. <laughs> so, yes, we are going to have to find some light recipes to cook or to just put together. But anyway, I have a really nice um, four bean salad. There's a nice lentil salad actually that, that works as well. Um, I, I am a confirmed meat eater. <laughs> that said, there are a couple of vegetarian recipes that I find extremely tasty. So we'll definitely be doing them as we head more into the warmer weather. And uh, you might you might see me in shorts. So not only does a streamer have legs, but a streamer has furry legs. <laughs> so I'm almost regretting not being in shorts today. Because today, currently, it is 23 degrees and mostly sunny. So, yeah. I don't know what you're up to, Rach. I'm, I'm having Queensland weather and you're having South Australia weather. What the hell? <laughs> All right, don't know if it's just me, but you seem to be skipping around quite a bit. Ooh. What, what do you mean, Upright? I'm lost. Uh, Rach, I don't think it's cracked 25 this spring. Oh, wow. Okay, Rach. Yes, it is silly levels of hot today. I agree, Upright. Ah, uh, video cutting and repeating. Uh, okay. I have dropped some frames. But I'm down. I'm at what four percent? I've dropped four percent of frames. So I don't know why that is. <laughs> so 
Silly levels of hot today, lean levels of hot today, today. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know why it's doing that. Well, actually, I do, because the internet here has been stupidly cray cray the last few weeks. Rachel, at least Victoria is underwater and not on fire. <laughs> not on fire yet. Yeah, but remember, remember everyone, there is no such thing as climate change. What we need is more coal-fired power plants. This message brought to you by the Department of Shit Fuckery. <laughs> Thank you, Juice Media, for that term. <laughs> Um, it's okay, you just need to get dance party lights and then sell it as a trippy stream. <laughs> we have the correct amount of mushrooms in the cooking today. <laughs> Rach, my dad said fires are scheduled for next month. He lives in Central Vic. Ah, see, there you go. Yet. Hey, Kiki, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Group hug. Ooh. Do you mind if I kiss the monkey? Ooh, hairball. We have cooked a shepherd's pie a la Ulrich. Actually, hot glass is hot. Nope. Hasn't cooled enough. Oh, stretch. Who <laughs> stretches? All right, hang on up, right? So there we go. Shepherd's pie a la Ulrich. Om nom nom. And we are <laughs> you're gonna love you're gonna love this key. Um we are currently in the churn. We have a Hague's drinking chocolate with um Hague's choc crushed Hague's chocolate pastels ice cream in the churn. So, <laughs> Kiki, I'm on yummy. <laughs> You're on lunch. <laughs> right, so I've got a stretch to do now. <laughs> right, oh, there's that belly sticking out the bottom of the sugar. Oh. This is the hard one. Forward roll downs. My spine doesn't particularly want to move for these, so. for the stretch upright uh, upright it's a little monkey from ape escape game ah. right he looks at tummy <laughs> upright why bring a six pack when you can have a cake no no I have a perfect six pack there's just a lot of ice keeping it cold <laughs> it's what all the lumps and bumps and <laughs> it's ice Keeping my perfect six pack cold. <laughs> what? Well, look, Kiki. Yes, I, I get. For some people, tummies are cute. For me, I see that tummy, little tummy pop out, and I just want a raspberry. Like, <laughs> it it may be the slightly evil streak within me. <laughs> My physio was showing me a stretch one session 
and she's on what's called a ladder barrel. It's basically a ladder at one side and a half barrel on the other. Ladder barrel. So she's on it and she's doing stretches over the back to, to do back stretches and that. And her shirt comes up and, and her pretty much all of her belly is just sticking out as she does this stretch. And I'm just, I just sit back. I just take a step back and I go, is it wrong that, you know, I just want to raspberry the crap out of your belly right now? <laughs> and she's gone, oh, she's gone all bright red and <laughs> all embarrassed and it was hilarious. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny. Where the hell are you getting all these up, right? Hyperpog, Lane Jam, In In Elixir, all the dancey things. Hey, Blitzwolf! Thank you for the subscription. Doing the happy dance. 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 Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Various people you sub to. Yeah, nice upright. Nice. Kiki, I love cuddling bellies. No. Hey, Don Blithwolf. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. What are you up to? What are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. Oh, good lord, upright. What's that one? Rave. <laughs> Get the rave going. Rave, 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 rave. I caught a cold. Feel like, ooh, just a cold or did you get spicy cough? Hopefully it was just a cold. Critter 3 Tender. Okay. Tinder. We are waiting for chocolate ice cream. We have cooked the shepherd's pie a la Ulrich. It was the non-spicy cold. Excellent. Well, if you're going to get a cold, non-spicy is the way to go. Definitely non-spicy cold is the way to go. That's a good thing. Just going to check on the ice cream. I'm watching you lot. Ice cream's ready. Ah, uh, in the end. Nice, perfect timing. I'm hungry. <laughs> right, Blit? Absolutely. No one's getting any of this. It's all mine.
feel like Cookie Monster, but ice cream. Hmm. Ice cream! Is there an ice cream monster? Like Cookie Monster from Sesame Street? I don't know. I'm getting as much of this into the pot as I can. Yeah, that's made about a litre of ice cream. So not a lot. I could probably make some more. Like I could probably up the batch size for this one. Let me give it a little extra stir. Oops, missed the wild Pokemon. Nice catch, Blitz. Got Gollet. Called Gollet. One litre is one upright serve. <laughs> That's fair. And I get to lick the bowl. <laughs> lick the bowl! I mean, we can't let this go to waste. This is quite expensive ice cream. So we don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> I almost got away. Bring it all here so I can poison test it. Maybe. Can you imagine how much crap I would get in if I made Hague's ice cream with Hague's solid Hague's chocolate in it and no one here got to eat it? You know I probably, you know I love you, but I do value my life. <laughs> You don't know what the Liberal Party has put in it. <laughs> well, we were the Department of Shit Fuckery there for a minute. Just chickies are on them. <laughs> Kiki steals from Upright's bowl. Oh, good lord, there could be a fight on there. for this because it's now dribbling down my beard, down my front. <laughs> Oops. I don't think I'd be in the naughty corner. I think I'd get stabbed. I'm probably pretty sure Kiki would walk away from that one armless. <laughs> mm-hmm.
Right, so that's definitely going to be a double ice cream recipe now. So I'll do that twice, but half a packet of drops in each one, and then just load it into the container for norms. All right, we can do that. <laughs> um, where are we up to? Sorry, I'm catching up with chat now. Pretty sure Kiki, you know, eh. that's all I'll say on that is the wink. <laughs> I have to catch the monkey first, because that's not all you're going to say, Kiki. Upright will remind me I need to make ice cream at some point, and to make it something insane. You're going to make insane ice cream? Why would you make insane ice cream? Ice cream is sane sanity restoring, isn't it? I thought it was. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, I should turn that off. Hang on. The churn was keeping itself cold. <sighs> Dropping frames again. Peanut butter chalk jelly. Okay. Peanut butter chalk jelly ice cream. All right. Fine. Kiki, I was so grumpy this morning I tripped up in front of the hospital, dropped my coffee everywhere. No. So you're saying I should drink the rest of my coffee? Not running it in at all. <laughs> oh, so the doctors bought you another one. Nose. Nose. Nice doctors. Who knew? They were nice doctors. <laughs> Broke your heart. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Or maybe just chocolate so chocolate it breaks the Geneva Convention. That's what I just made. <laughs> breaks the Geneva Convention of coffee. Of coffee? Of chocolate? Jeez. Oh, <sighs> Ophthalmology ones are awesome. Well, yeah, I may have to see one eventually. See, do something about this blurry eye vision sight thing. And why is my GoRam internet dropping out again? Alright. Well, we've dropped a heap of frames. We've just about to hit three hours of stream. And I don't know why. My internet is dying. Well, I do because... Glaucoma? Okay, I don't know what a glaucoma is. Is that a coma of the eyes? The eyes go into a coma? Mm. Where, where on the eye it is blurry. Okay. No, it's just my, my nearsighted vision is getting more and more blurry. My far sight is fine. Just like here, I can see weirdly. Yeah, there's there's the closer I get the blurrier it gets. So, you know, oh, should probably turn the oven off as well, just saying, um, so yeah, alright, so on the eye is it blurry, okay, could be cataracts, um, no, this is a, a an issue from my childhood that, um, uh, I started with poor vision. Um, they gave me corrective glasses um, that helped correct the instability of the muscles in my eyes and then basically told me that, you know, if I did it all right, I'd get proper vision, which I did. Um, well, I got proper vision. <laughs> um, 
and had 2020 vision for ages and then at about I think it was about 41 42 I started losing my my near vision again um, so you know that's not too bad uh, Rage insane chocolate ice cream sounds perfectly delicious right absolutely Upright, all right, I need to lay down, enjoy your noms, proud of you doing cookie stuff. Thanks, Upright, yay. Rach, chocolate is so chocolate, it breaks the Geneva Convention, also doesn't sound horrible. <laughs> right? Mmm, chocolate, so chocolate. Is that like Captain, my Captain, chocolate, my chocolate? <laughs> all right, well, so now we're about done for streaming. So that is uh, pretty much, I'm hungry for chalk now. <laughs> yes, Kiki, yes, I understand. Hungry for chalk now. Oh. <laughs> this is why I wear the bandana. And Kiki's going back to work. Everyone's off. Everyone's leaving, so fine. I'll go to, bye. Yeah, you too, Kiki. Have fun at work. Enjoy your day. Um, I am pretty much going to wrap up stream because we've done all the cooking. We're done with it. We're finished. There has been cooking. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Okay, so, wrap up. Show wrap up. We are, um, as I said at the start of the stream, we are changing Mondays. We will uh, not this Monday coming so in five days we will be doing Warframe Monday after that it will be well that'll be in the normal schedule for the week the week after that we will be changing Warframe Monday to Warframe Wednesday we are doing this because I get there is one night a week where the person teaching me blacksmithing um, has available to teach me blacksmithing which is Monday night so if I want to do that um, as part of my learning and doing what I'm doing in life and all of that then I need to change my stream day so we will be changing that from we'll be doing Warframe instead of Warframe Monday we'll be doing Warframe Wednesday and that will happen two Wednesdays from now so we will Warframe Monday on the 24th and then we'll be of October and then we will be changing to Warframe Wednesday on the 3rd of, uh, 3rd of October. November? 3rd of November even. <laughs> so yes, we'll be doing that on the 3rd of November. Uh, tomorrow we are on Freaky Friday. So we will be um playing mortuary assistant Huzzah! and now that i know what i actually did wrong and maybe won't mess up again we might even finish the first shift <laughs> so come on stay with me internet just a little bit longer we're almost there internet we're almost there november yeah right right um so the um so we'll be doing that. The on Saturday, the 22nd. So this coming Saturday, for us here in Australia, it is two days hence. We will be doing. Yeah, yeah, I knew what I meant, right? Absolutely. Um. Oh well, sneeze all. There we go. Um. We will be doing the third iron ore smelt uh, I spent a fair amount of yesterday getting the house in order um, trying to get ready for that um, we've picked up all sorts of things so yes we are all systems go there may be some light showers but that shouldn't affect us too much 
uh, doing this melt. We have done it in the rain before. We will likely do it in the rain again. Uh, <laughs> Which, when you're dealing with a furnace board burning at 1,400 degrees Celsius, a little bit of moisture around is not generally a bad thing. <laughs> Who knew? So, we'll be doing that on Saturday. So, join us for that special event. And don't forget that that is outside of the normal schedule. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. That's what we're doing. That's what we're up to. So, uh, last one, uh, Twitch safe, royalty free, no copyright music by Carl Casey at White Bat Audio is what we have been listening to uh, and what we do listen to on Thursday cooking streams. So, uh, check out White Bat Audio on YouTube and through them, a, a hit the like and subscribe button for them. Uh, if you've been watching along and you like what you see, hit Phil Hugh fan. Feel free to hit the follow button. Follows are free and they're easy to do. Uh, but they and they mean a lot. They mean a lot to streamers when you just hit that follow button. Um, yeah, and it's free. It's beep. Just down there. Beep. <laughs> All right. So before my internet completely craps out on me. <laughs> We are going to call that a stream. So, uh, we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to end the Musac, which I've just made my um, music friends freak out a little bit because that is not Musac and we all know it. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rach caught, Rach caught the Sneasel. Congratulations. Nice catch, Rach. Nice catch. Yeah, a little rain. Meh. I know, it's only 5 to 10 mil. That's like light sprinkling. You know, it's nothing. So. <laughs> so, that's everything that's done. Thank you everyone who joined us. Thank you for hanging out, for watching along, for jumping into chat if, um, if you are able. People in chat makes it so much easier. But whatever people are comfortable with, it's all good. So, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that was a stream. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have fun. Take care. Be good. Make good life choices. Bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Don't forget to check the description for any links I may have left there. If you like the video, please press like or subscribe to my channel. Next video in the series is up here. Until then, stay safe. Have fun.